Hello everybody, this is Tech Cut. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at the new release of Pop! OS 22.04 LTS, or as I like to call it, better Ubuntu, or maybe a baby blue Ubuntu. So this right here is the official uh, System76 blog we see Pop! OS has landed, and this is going to cover a lot of the features, which we are going to be diving into real quick, some of the uh, feature changes here. And a lot of the cool stuff is in these settings. Now with this release, this is based on Ubuntu and we're gonna get a lot of distributions getting updated and coming out in the next couple of weeks because of that LTS Ubuntu release. So we're gonna get a lot of the base applications updated. A lot of this is going to be GNOME 42. For example, if I open up files here real quick and let's go ahead and go to about files, you can see this is version 42. Same thing with terminal. If we go over here, go down to about, we can see that this is also GNOME 42. If we pop over here in settings, I was playing around with the desktop wallpapers. That's kind of a new thing we got going on. First things first, let's go down here to about just so you can see this change. We have the version number right here it is running X11 by default. This is in VMware, so if it's a little choppy, I'm sorry. Uh, GNOME version 42. If we go ahead and scroll up here, we're gonna go over some of the new feature or the new uh, settings options. So one of the big ones is if we go down to OS upgrade and recovery, we will have the option to enable automatic updates. So if I were to check that, for example, we have the time in which we'd like to install these automatic updates or just update when available if we would like to. And we have the option to show notification. So then you won't get a notification up here popping up every single time there's a new package available. You'll just get them all at once or you'll just have it update automatically so you won't even really need to see them. Another thing right under OS update and recovery, if we go over to support here, there are some troubleshooting options. So we have our model and version. This is our actual computer operating system version, an easy link to the documentation, which will open up the system 76 documentation. And then we have the option for community support for the, uh, or in the pop OS chat, as well as the ability to create log archives for support. Now, one thing we're not seeing here and probably the coolest thing is if you actually have a system 76 laptop, you'll have another option here to go ahead and create an actual support ticket to get help directly from System76 themselves. So if you do have one of those, cool. There's not much manufacturers that build in support right into the UI of the operating systems. Now, another thing, let's go ahead and go back up to the desktop. Under backgrounds here, you see your normal backgrounds. You don't have the uh, kind of light and dark mix, but that feature is actually there. If we go to appearance, you can see if I switch over to the light theme, it's going to change the wallpaper. Now what I can do from there is while I have this light theme selected, I could go and change my background to something else. And then from there, I could go over to appearance, go to the dark theme. It's gonna switch to that wallpaper or switch to the dark wallpaper. And I could go and select a different wallpaper for dark. So now when I go back and forth in between light and dark, it's gonna save those two uh, wallpaper preferences depending on the color scheme I'm wanting to go with. Some super cool functionality. I'm hoping in the future they have the availability to uh, set up a timer or go based off of your uh, geolocation sunset or whatever. That would be cool, but maybe in the future. Now, another thing that's got on quite a bit of updates is the pop shop. A lot of it has been under the hood. So there have been code improvements just to increase general overall responsiveness and package management operation functionality, such as updating, installing things. Just overall, the pop shop should run a lot, or it, it ran good before, but it should have a uh, some noticeable performance improvements. And then when it comes to things you can actually see, it has better support for smaller sizes, which is very helpful if you're uh, trying to use their built-in tiling functionality on a smaller display. So you can see this is still very usable even at its smallest size there. Another thing is these buttons, for example, these install buttons here act as um, progress bars now. So if I install something such as Tilix, which is a nice little uh, terminal emulator, go to input our password. You can see right there, we have a little uh, progress bar starting up. So that's just another little cool addition. And if I open up the actual page for Tilix here, you can see the progress bar going across the cancel button there. And if you don't know, you can scroll down and see a lot more information about these actual applications. And I believe if we go back home real quick, 
there is a new recently updated section here. So these are all applications that have obviously been recently updated. So you can see all of those and install them if you'd like to. And uh, just a really good way for application discovery. Now, for the most part, that was a lot of the visual changes. And before we get into talking about a lot of the under the hood stuff, and the potential of a new cosmic desktop environment, we're going to have to thank the sponsor of today's video, Linode. So simply put, Linode is awesome. I've been using them to host TechHut.tv for a long time. They host the TechHut NextCloud instance for me and everybody that I work with. Basically, everything I've set up has been with their one-click installers. And of course, you don't have to use their one-click installers. You can just pick between a wide variety of Linux distributions and install whatever you want on it. Use it for whatever you would use a Linux server for with the added availability, security, and support of Linode. And better yet, you can get a $100 60-day credit if you go ahead and use the link in the description. So go check it out today. So with that, we are back here on the System76 blog, and the next change was enhanced performance with the System76 scheduler. Now what this does is it's going to redirect most of your system's resources onto your active or your in-focus window. The example that they use if you're playing gaming in full screen, generally, and depending on your hardware, obviously, you're going to see a much smoother performance. Now, I haven't benchmarked this or anything, but it would be interesting to see if it, like, let's say you're rendering a video in Caden live and you throw that in the background and go to do something else, if that's going to significantly slow down that render. I'm not 100% sure if you know and you're actually running this on hardware let me know down below. And then from there, we have the switch to pipe wire for audio processing. I'm no audio engineer. I'm no audio professional. Uh, for the most part, no matter what is installed on my system, I tend to have a very good time. But at least according to System76, this is to take advantage of the capabilities of modern sound hardware. And if you're uh, using applications that have been built using uh, Pulse Audio, uh, you should be completely fine. And then for nuts and bolts improvements, the Workspaces view has had a, a little tune-up. Uh, me, out of everything on Pop! OS, the Workspaces is just something I'm not a fan of. I know it's a design choice. Um, it's one of the things that makes it different. It's kind of like the old like GNOME 3.38 vertical style workspaces. I really like the uh, horizontal thing with uh, GNOME 40 and up, but again, that's just all personal preference. This has a uh, better multi-monitor support, fixed layouts on high resolution displays, and just increased performance overall. And if we look down from there, there have been a lot of uh, little improvements if you're using NVIDIA GPUs, including the ability to actually see your drivers within the pop shop, and you can uh, downgrade to older drivers if you would prefer. There's been better performance improvements to the CPU signaling governor. They've saved on some system resources by uh, disabling the pop OS. Uh, upgrade service, which will only uh, be active when you're actually checking for those release upgrades. If an upgrade is interrupted, those upgrades will now be resumable, and a bunch of other little fixes here, which we can see the uh, the file type icons have been changed to SVG, which is nice because nobody likes to see a uh, blown up ro low resolution PNG. Some other minor fixes. I'm going to link to this down below so you can read all this in depth if you would like to. And then, of course, they added a, a new user icon, which is this little robot right here. General upkeep, like I said earlier, this is going to be following Ubuntu 22.04, updated to the GNOME 42 base with an updated kernel and Meza 22. And here, last but not least, this is a little note on their new Cosmic Desktop environment. Clearly, it's not uh, here as of yet, but their uh, UX team has been testing new designs, and the engineering team has begun packaging various elements of the new Rust code base. And according to this, there's going to be an alpha release for the summer, which I'm super excited to check out. I would love to run a Rust-based Pop! OS. That would just be the coolest thing. And I'm really looking forward to what they come up with from a design standpoint, if they're going to kind of stick with this same style and like this right here is the search. If they're gonna keep all these same elements and try to just clone what they currently have working or what they their current design is and then kind of work off of that, it's gonna be really interesting to see what they do come up with. Now here it goes into how to upgrade. It's really easy to actually upgrade your Pop! OS install. If you're currently running it, all you need to do is go into system upgrade or just run one of these commands. And of course, like always, no matter who you are or what you're doing, always back up your system 
and keep a second or even third copy of your files. So with that, that has been the upgrades or improvements to Pop OS. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, link to this down below so you go ahead and read all this for yourself. Super excited to see how this progresses. And big thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are fantastic. Uh, I just heard word that uh, Patreon is going to be allowing uh, video uploads so we don't have to use a Venmo, Vimeo, not Venmo, whatever it is, that crappy video platform that they currently have a, a partnership with. So that will be gone soon. Uh, with all that, have a beautiful day and goodbye.